in this thread most absurd, interesting, clever, efficient and especially infuriating lich phylacteries you have ever heard of, seen or created anything and everything is welcome. I don't know, dude. A table in some random guy's house or something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that would be more infuriating than yeah. anything. Like, you know, the idea of just it being like an everyday common object that just sits there, mm -hmm. you know? As a note, the reason I started this thread is because I'm creating a lich NPC and I want his phylactery to be an especially tedious nuisance to locate slash destroy to the point where the party would consider letting lich live a more reasonable long-term decision. Letting a lich live is never a reasonable decision. A comet that only comes close enough to Earth to cast a ritual on it once every 10 years. The rest of the time, it's hurling through the solar system. That's very good. I like that. that. Making good. Hilly's Comet or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, oh, that's great. I love that. If you ever do kill the lich, you'll only ever have 10 years of peace tops. Because when the comet comes close again, he jumps off and starts fucking shit up. It actually becomes a challenge. Every 10 years, adventurers wait to see a burning skeleton scream his way through the atmosphere at the speed of furious astron astronomy. Trying to chart where he landed and hunt him down before he can hide and start fucking shit up. Whoever destroys his corporeal body gets a massive reward, as they have ensured the safety of the world until his next ascension. He's been hopping off the comet and landing all over the planet for centuries, so almost every culture has terrible legends about the comet by now. Sounds like it. Yeah, it is actually kind of like it almost. You know, yeah. Is it every like 27 years? Yeah, yeah, 27 or, or 25. Or like what? Like uh, Jeepers Creepers as well. Oh, yeah. Like that. I like this. Actually, this is this could yeah. be for a really cool like, one shot idea. Once every 10 years, if you haven't prayed slash sacrificed slash etc. enough, the screaming skeleton will come down and rip your face off slash bring the dead to life slash put coal in your stocking. <laughs> Destroying the lich is fairly difficult. But if your party is super high level, they can gear up and take the fight to him and try to destroy the comet. Which, by now, he has turned into a full-on super castle like that fucking asteroid Magneto had. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I, 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 I really, I really this. like it. I, go, I, I really want to play this. Genuinely, I think... It sounds so... It does remind me of, like, It or Jeepers Creepers or stuff like that. And the, the fact that every... Um, Every like culture, culture or, have stories about him. Yeah, I love have the, stories about or different how, interpretations yeah. of him. I, oh, I, I love that. I, 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 I love it. I, I, I think I'm falling in love with this idea. I actually do genuinely think it's great. Peasants look up into the sky. A look of horror crosses his face. The stories were true. He breaks into a sprint, panting and stumbling over the rough ground. He looks behind him as he runs, desperately trying to get back to town. Above him. A bright speck in the evening sky. A screaming skeleton speeds toward him. Closer inspection notes that it's preparing to do an elbow drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lich with a steel chair! <laughs> Be lich. Die to heroes for the first time. Respawn on my comet phylactery. It works. I'm an evil genius. Ten years roll by. Comet nears Earth. Jump off comet and enter Earth's atmosphere. Bony skeletal body burns up on re-entry. Die. Respawn on Comet again. <laughs> oh. Cast Fire Resistance. Tough it out because liches are tough as fuck. Be a race that had fire resistance before going lich. Cast Fly or Slow Fall to mitigate entry speed before incineration point. Cast Teleport or Blink or Gate into low orbit. Rip off chunk of asteroid and craft it into a magic fire resistance skateboard and do a sick <laughs> flaming skate tricks all the way to the ground. <laughs> Cast Freezing Orb on self to tank the fire damage. Be a Red Dragon Draco Lich. There's any numbers of way around the re-entry problem. Rip off Chunk of Asteroid and craft it into Magical Fire Resistance Skateboard and these sick flaming tricks all the way to the grind. <laughs> yeah. I, I want that to be the way. Yes. I, I want that to be... <laughs> that's the only way it can happen in my... In my, in my in, whenever we're doing this, that's, that's, what, that's what's happening, <laughs> all right? Be the chosen hero that must fight the Comet Lich once every ten years. Heard that he's a pushover because he almost dies from the fall every time. Sees the skating equivalent of a ghost rider falling from the sky, making 900 degrees while summoning parachuting skeletons. Realise that you'll never be that cool. Abandon your quest and go home to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Lich notices the destined hero tearing up. Changes trajectory to fly past him at match 7. Casts arcane mark as he flies past him. Hero now has a magic tattoo on his forehead. Looks in mirror when he gets home. Lich's bitch. 
<laughs> Never goes outside again. <laughs> About to hit the ground. Start casting something. Giant half pipe appears. Hits it at three times the speed of sound. You get one round of combat in the pipe before he hits the air. Uses the air time to cast buffs, offensive spells, and style on you with the unholiest of naughty stunts. <laughs> 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 see, if the, see if he doesn't go in, do you like doing that hand that symbol? Thing that <laughs> Only way to get enough rounds of combat in a row is to match his jumps on a sport of your own. <laughs> Spends his off time carving the comet into a sweet skate park. Becomes the patron saint of shredding. Ascends to godhood. Those who die doing rad stunts ascend to the comet to spend eternity doing zero G tricks among the stars. Every ten years, the Lich descends with his heavenly host of skaters. <laughs> I love this. Awesome. So, I love, I this. love I... every minute of this. Unless he is driven back, they will spend eternity styling through the cities of Earth. No thin horizontal surface ungrounded upon. No bench unkick flipped over. No wall untagged. Paladins too slow to catch them. <laughs> Parents worried about the fact in the new generation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. From that point onwards, all heroes come prepared with a board. After a few centuries, the fighting part doesn't even happen. It's just a skateboarding competition. Lich finally finds what he enjoys and lets it kill him. Again and again and again. That is... I that, love that, 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 everything about this. That is... It's almost beautiful in a way. Yeah. It I actually love it is. It's, so much. It's it, it, it's cartoony in all the right aspects. Um, honestly, I think this is great. I think this needs to become a thing. I don't care. Megan. I'm doing it. Wait, Megan, we're doing this. <laughs> Megan, we're sending this video to Teal right yes. after we're finished editing this. And we're like, Teal, do it. Do it. Do it. Do you want to do it? Because he's been planning on doing something for like a Halloween special. Yes! So... I think Skateboard and Lich sounds like the perfect excuse yes. for a Halloween special. I Fuck want this yeah. to be a thing. Um, guys, what, what, to revert back to the start, what is your, like, you know, what, have you guys ever dealt with Liches? What's like the weirdest phylactery you have came across? Or like, as I said, like the most infuriating one yeah. you've came across. I love the comet idea. The comet is such a great idea. Yeah, and then just so I- good. <laughs> Even with like the skate part, the skateboarding part, the comet itself, yeah, it's so. If, even if good. you want to do this seriously, you could still make it really good. You yeah. don't need to do the skateboarding bit at all. No, but you could yeah. work in it, and it could be serious, or it could be stupid and yeah. cartoonish, and it could be all that shit. I just love this. Honestly, I think this is great. This needs to become a thing. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I I really do want this to be a thing. But yeah, let us know down below what's like your weirdest flatteries you've came in contact in your games, and um. Check out the advert. It really helps us out a lot. Check out all the links down below. And is there anything else? No? Um, no, I don't think so. No? Um, look, guys, I want this to be a thing. So let's make it a thing. Just saying. Happy Halloween, guys, as well. Yeah, happy Halloween. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you later. Bye. Boo. Gods have chosen their champions to battle to the death. Luckily, they can resurrect them to fight and die again and again. In this fast-paced, hard-hitting fighting game, reading your opponent is as important as rolling your dice. Use different attacks and abilities, cut through your opponent, or drive them into a wall of spikes. Pit Fighter features easy rules with gorgeous miniatures suitable for any tabletop skirmish, RPG, or war game. Each battle takes only one to five minutes, perfect for a group of friends with some downtime on game night or when someone has to pause to take a call.